This video will show how to use the Labels to Audiences feature in the MailChimp POCO app. Labels to Audiences is designed to allow you to send contacts from specific Wix forms to a specific MailChimp audience. This is especially useful if you have forms that are related to a particular type of subscriber. We'll show an example where we have a form for event planners. So to start this, we'll go to our Wix website editor and look at a form that we've created. It's called Event Planners, sign up for special deals. If you go to the form settings, you can see the name of this form. We called it Planners. This will create a Wix label under this name which we can see if we click on contacts here and we look at contact labels we have planners. Mm. You can assign several of these labels to a form and any new contact that is created from this form will have this Wix label called planners. If you want to create your own label that is different from the form name you can do that by going to contacts in Wix contacts and click on more actions and manage labels. Here you can create new labels, edit them, etc. So now we have a Wix form that anytime a user subscribe he will be assigned a new contact label called planners. The next step will be to go to our MailChimp page and set up an audience with the same name. To do this, you first log into your MailChimp account and you can go click on audiences. Here you'll be able to see the different audiences and click on view audiences. Now, we'll want to create or make sure that we have an audience with exactly the same name. If you don't have an audience already, you can click on create audience and make sure that the name of it is exactly the same as the Wix label. Since we already have one here, we don't need to create it. So this is the planner's audience. Now we'll get back to the app and we can enable labels to audiences. When this is active, any contact that has a label that has the same name as an audience in MailChimp, the contact will go there. You can also decide if you want to assign the contact to the default audience, which is the one selected here. The first option is no contacts, meaning no contacts ever will go into the default audience. If there is a labels to list match, it will go there. Otherwise, the contact will not be sent to MailChimp. The second option is contacts with a label and without. With this option, if we have a contact that is under the planners label, it will go into the planners list, but in addition, it will also be added to the default audience. And finally, we have only contacts without a label. When this is selected, only contacts that don't have a labels to audience match will be sent to the default audience. For example, if a customer places an order or if you have a form that does not have a specific label assigned to it, those will go to the default audience. If you have any questions, feel free to click the contact us button at the top right section and we will be happy to help with any questions you have.